welcome back. Oakland and I are getting ready to do a little bit of baking today. And then also I'll be doing some just general like housework cleaning. So we're gonna get started. We're making some sourdough sandwich bread. I'm using Farmhouse on Boone's recipe. I made it one time before. I'm gonna get that started. And then I wanna do some other things as well. Oh no, look at the butter. Oh. Uh oh. Well, because it was making a mess on here. Hang on. I got my starter out last night and fed it, and then I fed it again this morning, so sort of like a bulk rise. It actually has dropped already. It was like higher than where it is now, but I tried to bulk it up a little bit. making some granola. I've shared this before. I'm using a friend of mine's recipe, but I add some different things to it and I'll have all the recipes or links to recipes in the description box below. So I like to make like a big batch and then I can put half of it in the freezer or whatever and use it later. Open, be careful. I'm strong. You're strong? Where are you going, strong woman? <laughs> I like the fact that granola is very customizable as far as what you actually want to put in it. So I added a little bit of coconut this morning. This one calls for chocolate chips. You don't have to add those if you don't want to. You don't have to add as many. Um, it definitely adds more of like a sweet flavor to it. It also calls for avocado oil. That could be substituted. I got some of these um, parchment papers that are like ready to go. They're cut, so even for like my sourdough, if I want to put it in the Dutch oven, they're like pre-cut, you don't have to mess with it. So this is a half sheet. Hopefully it'll work in my cookie sheets. Try to remember to link it. You're gonna bake this at 275 for about 20 minutes. You're gonna stir it. Then you keep baking it for 40 more minutes uh, after that. You kind of want to like push the chocolate chips down after that 20 minute mark or just kind of like spread them a little bit. Next, I'm going to make something that's actually new for me. I'm going to make like egg muffin. A muffin? Eggs. <laughs> eggs that are done in like a muffin tin. Then you can just like grab them, grab them and go. I think they would freeze well. I often get asked about recipe books and stuff. So this is one that I've really been enjoying. It's called Aprons and Spices. It's by Ann Troyer. Uh, her husband's actually a distant cousin of mine. <laughs> anyway, she sent me the cookbook uh, here a while back and there just are beautiful pictures to go with the recipes. There's just all kinds of stuff. It's very much Amish Mennonite style cooking. And I will put her email down below. She doesn't have a website or anything, but um, she can send you guys one if you wanna order them. I don't know what the price is of this one. I would guess it would be in the $20 range maybe. Not for sure on that. Twist it. 
Ja. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. You should have your little apron on. <laughs> Get all the eggs. He doesn't call for cream, heavy cream, but I'm gonna add a little bit of that in in place of all of the milk. So, do you need me to use it up? Use your stuuri. No. Because we're not gonna just me. Huh? Just gently. Wow, what's that? Bacon. break pretty easily. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Now you need to try some bacon. Mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm. So I know this is probably repetitive to some of you, but I just wanted to share the beautiful cutting board again in case you're new. This is from Dutch Valley Design. They're in Holmes County, Amish country, and they make these beautiful cutting boards. Have knife blocks, and I've shown those before. So we have a few of them. So here's one of them, and you can engrave whatever you want or leave it blank, but like there's a big metal stand that it stands on. Um, then they have different options, color options. They have some natural wood, different things like that, but these are just so cool and they're especially geared for uh, like realtor closing gifts or maybe just gifts in general but that's the Nick has bought a lot for his closing gifts and stuff that he does when he you know closes the house with a client things like that he'll give them that uh, it's just they're so well made and they have an Etsy shop they're just starting out like in their garage type of thing so definitely go check them out and you can use my code I'll put it on the screen and I'll have it below the link will take you directly there and give you that discount five dollars off so just wanted to give them a little plug miss harper woke up from her morning nap she's having some of the extras that i had from the bacon or the egg cups I have a box here that has been sitting here for a while and I want to unbox it. I already did the other one, so it's an air purifier and I want to thank Clean Force for sponsoring today's video. They sent us two air purifiers and I am very excited to have them. I want to put some in the kids' bedrooms. These are able to just move around the house as well, just to help purify the air and especially if, you know, for instance, if you have pets in your house and things like that, this is just a good way to purify it. I'll give you a couple more details as I do the unboxing. So I chose the Rainbow, which is the 550 CADR large room HEPA air purifier. And it'll filter the air up to like 2,550 square feet per hour. Then there's a bigger air purifier as well 
That is the Clean Force Mega 1000 air purifier. So I chose a gray one and a blue one. And it comes with a triple filter technology for the filtration system. It'll collect larger objects such as hair, pollen, pet dander, and lint. The IMAC activated carbon filter absorbs wildfire smoke, cooking, pet odors, and VOCs. So it has an app that you can control it with your phone. Another thing is Clean Force Air is based in California, so it's made in the US. You can control the thing manually, also control it on the app here if you want to, or if I set it up with Alexa, it'll do that as well. It gives me the quality of my air on my phone here. Blue one I'm gonna put in the boys' room, it's blue anyway. They also have like pink and yellow and green, so they have, you know, a whole bunch of colors. And this tells me that the air quality in here is actually good because it's blue. It turns green if it is moderate or like it's okay. And then red if it is not clean. So I'm very impressed with it and hopefully you will be as well. If you decide to go check it out, definitely do so. I will leave all the information in the description box. So back to the rest of the video. So I don't think I've often shown my laundry room, but it is a workhorse for sure. This is probably my favorite feature in the whole room. Not gonna lie. This is a, a cabinet that my uncle built on top of our bench. So the top also has some shelves. So this is where I keep the boys' backpacks, our purses and bags. I have some extra ones in my closet, obviously, but the things that we're using more frequently I could put it in here and close the doors and there's no mess. <laughs> you know me, clutter drives me crazy. Although I have to put up with it, you know, to some degree because we do have four children, it's just part of life. This is one way that I can like keep things from looking just extremely chaotic in this pretty small space. So, so this space was very much thought out and planned out. It's a mud room, it's a laundry room, everything. So we have, you know, stackable washer and dryer, which don't ever put it in the cabinet if you don't have to, because like, how are you supposed to get to the back of it? Yeah, we didn't think about that. Uh, I have a nice big laundry sink over here. I have storage underneath. So not extremely organized at the moment. I could probably do a little better with it. I want to put tile on the back of the wall. We just haven't gotten around to it. I have the tile sitting out in the garage. I had it for another project that I never used. So this one would essentially get tiled with olive green tile, but I don't know when it's going to happen. So for right now, it just is what it is. So this area is just nice. It's often full, kid you not, uh, but I'm putting some starts in here to create another pothos. Um, then I have some extra stuff here. I've got, you know, one of those drawers. <laughs> I've got a drawer for my rags. And then this one is like extra stuff. So paper towels, sponges, and Swiffer stuff. And then I've got actually two containers for trash. This one is not actually trash. This one I've been putting like extra paper supplies and things like that. I know, kind of weird. So this part was maybe a little dumb of us, but I really wanted a trash can and so I'm feeling like I'm putting it to good use because this thing I use all the time and then this one I just, you know, basically I just store extra stuff in there. So even though it's not glamorous looking, but... And then the other feature that I really, really love are the shoe drawers. Nick has a drawer for his stuff, plus he has some in his closet. And this one is for Jackson and the same for Kaden. So that's how that looks. And then I literally have hooks that I've had sitting here for forever that I wanna hang up so that we have room to hang stuff. Uh, there's a light up there. Uh, yeah, it just, it functions really well. The drawers are just amazing because you can put it away and there's no clutter. The boys do pretty good at putting stuff away. And even Oakland does pretty good at putting her shoes away and getting them out, right? You know where they are. Mm-hmm. They're in which drawer? Mm, that one. That one. So that is a little look at our laundry room. Uh, I'm very thankful for it. <laughs> the laundry room was not here in this house before. It was a tiny little corner in the back of the kitchen. And so we like redid everything. And this was very much just like every inch counted in this house. So yeah. Very thankful for it, for sure. 
Uh, I'm gonna make the boys bed. I usually try to get them to make it in the morning. It doesn't happen every morning, so I'm gonna just do a quick little cleanup. Oakland usually naps in here and Harper's in their room just because it works out better if they don't sleep in the same room during the day. Um, and I'll just kind of clean up a little bit in here. So usually in the afternoons, around one, I try to put the girls down for a nap. Oakland generally only sleeps for, I don't know, I let her sleep for maybe an hour and a half or two hours at the most. It seems to affect her night sleeping. And then Harper, it just kind of depends on her naps throughout the day. She generally takes two or so. Um, so then usually if all goes normal, I have like an hour and a half or so of time without interruptions before the boys get home. Generally, I try to do things that are, you know, needing done without interruptions or sometimes I'll just sit and relax. I feel like moms need that time sometimes. So today, however, I had a lot of things I wanted to get done. I just decided to go through the house and pick up things. There was just clutter everywhere and it kind of drives me nuts. So I just did a lot of picking up and also worked on the bathroom and cleaned that. I often clean on an as needed basis anymore. I just don't get around to doing my whole house at once. This, this season of life is pretty busy and it's hard for me to like have a whole day or even a whole morning to just focus on that. So just like little bits here and there and don't be discouraged if you're the same way. Uh, if you can't get it all done at once, I am there with you. I used to do that. I used to be able to do it all at once and I'm just not anymore and it's okay. So as a homemaker, I love taking care of my house and you know, just making it feel like a home. And even though it involves a lot of daily mundane activities, it is part of my role as a mom and a wife and a homemaker. And I feel like it's a God given, you know, calling that I have because of the, the repetition and things you do every single day, it can become, you know, harder to find joy in the little things, but I wanna just try and challenge myself and also you if you're watching to find beauty in little things and find joy in little things. Even if it's some iced coffee in the afternoon, maybe it's decorating or maybe it's cooking, maybe it's whatever it is, find some things to be able to, you know, bring you joy. I know it's something that can easily fall between the cracks if you're busy and, you know, life kind of gets in the way sometimes, but I find that if I do some of this stuff, it helps me just be more cheerful and grateful and things like that. So I wish I could have made a bigger batch of waffles. I should have made a double batch, but I didn't have enough discard. So I just made one batch. I'll put those in the freezer and they make easy breakfast, especially for like the girls or occasionally Caden wants one or Jackson before they go to school. So I'm gonna just put those in the freezer. I like the little kind. They're just like a fun size for the little ones. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Been walking down the street so many times, my feet know every brick and stone could wear a blindfold.
that I put in here. Uh, I saw them on the Hillary style and I went to get them and I'll link them below for you if you're interested. I just feel like it gives it like a nice, I don't know, it doesn't actually take that many to make a pretty big impact. So this is one. You could easily just do like a couple stems in like a bigger base, one that has like a small top and that would be sufficient. And they were on sale when I got them. I got them at Michael's. I'll try to link them as well. They were on sale for like $3.99, I think. Okay, still need to put the laundry away. And then I think I'm probably gonna call that the end of my work day. <laughs> I don't have to cook supper again tonight, which is really nice because I was doing quite a bit today. So I think mom and I and the girls are gonna go do something tonight. I'm not sure what yet, probably go eat somewhere. Maybe we'll try a new place. If we do, I will take you guys with us. But yeah, I feel like I got quite a bit accomplished today. I will. Keep you documented on the bread. This has been rising all day, and I don't know, I could probably give it a little bit more time, and then I'll put it in loaves, the loaf pans, and let it rise again for a couple hours, and then bake it. the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming I got my bread put in the pans uh, in the meantime my mom and the girls and I went to a oh, what was it called Valentino something pizzeria <laughs> we had some good pasta for supper and then we went to Ross and now we're back it's a little after seven and It's a very cozy evening because it's kind of rainy outside. So I think we're gonna hunker down for the rest of the evening and we'll probably watch something or just relax, not sure. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope it encouraged you in some way. Uh, let me know what your favorite housekeeping chore is. <laughs> just out of curiosity. So in the meantime, go check out the description box if you're interested in trying out Clean Force. Make sure you go check out the link there and I will see you all in my next one. See ya. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is, oh you know it's true no matter where i go i'm coming home to you